Good evening. I'm coming to you from the car closet and I'm coming to give you words of encouragement and hope that will bless your lives and your children's lives. So today's topic, um, we want to talk talk about um, with the kids that are going back to school. So we have a specific prayer for them, uh, children that are going back to school. And prayer, the prayer is, the answer is that God will give them wisdom. So I do have a chart that I created with words and the words that I pull out today will be wisdom. All right. Wisdom. Okay. And the W we're going to go with work. Work. It's too much light here. I don't know if y'all can see it. Okay. Work. I don't know if you can see it because the sun is coming in from the angle that I'm facing. So the W we're going to go with work and work and work. Be diligent in your work, you know, because we're going, the kids are going back to school, whether they're in elementary, middle, high school, college, a lot of the children are going back to school. So the first thing, you know, you got to work, right? Got to do your work in order to progress. You must do your work. So be diligent in doing your work. Thank you all so much for joining me and be diligent in your work. All right. The I we're going to go with instruction, instruction. All right. And so an instruction, meaning master the material, master the material. So when your teacher is teaching you information, try to gain as much as much knowledge that you can because they only could teach you what they know but then you have to go and you have to apply now you have to go home and you have to study and try to apply what the teachers have taught you so that you will be able to master the material all right the s the s we're going to go with school school right all right and in school i have here do not succumb to peer pressure in other words, don't give in to peer pressure. You're going back to school now. It's going. You it is the it's the first day of school for some for a lot, uh, for most of you all. But then, along with that, everyone is happy with that. But then, along with that comes peer pressure. No matter what what uh, grade level you in, that happens. So when it arises, you have to try to make right choices and decisions because you have a future that you have to follow. And so what happens is. Your parents are sending you to school not to clown and do other things. They're sending you to school so you can learn, so that you can get an education, so that when you're older, you will have, a, it's like you're, you're positioning yourself so that you can have be all the best that you want to be, right? All right? And so the D, the D, we're going to go with decisions. Decisions. Why? Because there are going to be some decisions that you need to make in terms of, the choice I have here, find your niche or choose a career. In other words, a lot of times when we now, at least in the state of Florida, for the most part, everything is pretty much teach. Um, they focus on at one point, just the FCAT, FCAT, you have to pass it and all of that. But there are some lifelong, let me pause right here. There are some lifelong lessons that that will be learned in the classroom. Remember, your teacher is your, they're like your parent away when you're away from your, from your guardians, from your parent and your guardian. So they're your, they're your parent away from home. And that's what the teacher is. And so what they do is, yes, they may be giving you, you instructions, like how I'm giving you a chart, right? With information, right? But what happens is there are some things that even with it not being on paper that you learn from teachers that you learn from maybe could be some uh some staff that's around the school you learn some some valuable lessons sometimes people will drop little little tidbits on you some things that will stick with life and don't despise it it could be someone in the office it can be a counselor it could be a custodian it can be the cafeteria worker it could be a coach it can be many different uh security it there's there's a lot of other staff members that are working in the school to help you to be your best. Why? Because you're our future. So we want you to be the best that you can be. At some point in time, you're going to be running this country. Somebody that I'm speaking to right now, you're going to be running the country. You're going to be the head of whatever it is that you choose to do. Whatever venture that you choose and you choose to set out to do, you can do it. So with the decisions... Let me just stay right here a little bit longer with the decisions that you make. It's very important right now, young people, the decisions that you're making now, they're going to help you for your future. So 
You have to make wise choices. I, I really pray that you make wise choices choices because what happens is we want you to we want you to be in a position. That's why your your mom and your teachers and all of that, we're pushing you. Sometimes it seems like we're being hard on you. Yes, we are being hard on you and we're going to be hard on you. Why are we being hard on you? We're being hard on you because we see what's in you. And so what we're trying to do is we're trying to pull out of you what we know God has already put in you. And so that's why we're being hard on you. We, you know, do your work or do this or you can do better in this area because we, we can tell. We can tell when you're not putting as much much effort. We can tell when you just lack a lack of days go like, oh, I don't really want to do it. Oh, I just do this because I know I'm going to get the right answer or whatever the case may be. But there's so much more. When you're in school and you're you're at the stage that you are now, this is your learning ground. When you go to when you be to school on time, guess what? You learn, you grow up to be an adult that learns how to be on time to work and be on time in things that you're doing. So all of these lessons you learn when you're when you're young, they start from when you're a child, you know, when you're studious in your work, when you're diligent in your work, when you're younger, as you get older, those traits, they carry you. Why? Because they become habit and anything you continue to do repetitively, it becomes your habit. So what happens is it becomes your way and your lifestyle and you do it automatically. It's like breathing. You don't think about breathing, but you just go ahead and do it. So that's why we're hard on you as kids. For those of you all who are going to be playing sports, listen, some of you are going to be great ball players or whatever the case may be. You're going to make it in that arena, but it's going to take hard work. It's going to take practice. It's going to take you honing your skills. You have to do it again and again. People are who are going to be masters in, in master uh, with material and things of that nature. It's going to take them going, you going over and over the material again. While somebody else, while they want to go play, you sit down and you take the time to do your work. Why? Because what you're doing is you're getting in, you're doing what you like and you don't have to be like the next person because they like this you know what you like so whatever area that you like you know sit down and talk to your teachers and your parents and a lot of times they'll pull out some things that you didn't even realize within you you may have some creative drawing talent or something whatever your talent is there's something in every child under the sound of my voice and so whatever the it is, use those gifts and those talents that God has given you because that's what's going to propel you into your future. You're going to enjoy doing it. If you enjoy doing it now, you're going to enjoy doing it for your future. We want you to do what you what you enjoy doing now. You grow up and you to be you become start working in the feeling you like it. So then you're happy going. It, it's not work to you. In other words, it's now like it's like it's just a hobby because you enjoy doing it. And so then you'll get out in the workforce and guess what? You'll be happy doing it and you'll make money behind it because it's something that you like, right? All right. So right now is the time. Everyone needs to choose a career. Think, start talking to your, your parents. Well, I like this. I, I want, I would like to go into this career. And another thing, let me just say this. Think big, think that you can do it. Because once you have it here, you visualize it here in your head and you put it in your mind and now you see it. So what you do, you go write it down, write it down, get you a chart. You see how I do all these little drawing charts because this works for me. This works for me and this is what I flow in. I can do it with my eyes closed and just go forth and, and just come up with these words and because that's something God gave me. And so whatever it is, so write it down. And when you write it down, start as you see yourself, you may not see it right away. But what happens is once you write it down and once you speak it, I'm getting ahead of myself. Once you speak it, your start, it starts activating in your life. Right. All right. And the other thing, the other word, oh, oh, in wisdom, we're going to go with obey. Obey. Why are we going with obey? respect your teachers and staff, right? That's very important. Respect them. They're not just telling you, yes, we're hard on you. They're not just telling you because they just want to be mean. No, respect them. Respect them. Because if you respect your teachers, guess what? You're going to respect authority. So it starts, it starts, it's the same thing. You know, you start at home. Respect your parents. Don't just, not just the teachers and the staff, respect your parents. Don't talk back to your parents. Don't suck your teeth, roll your eyes and all that stuff like that. Your parent tell you to do something, but she doesn't, she's not watching you. But guess what? She's trusting that you, she, the parent, the mother and the father, they're trusting that you're going to do what they told you to do. If they told you to go clean up your room or go do some chores, go ahead and be diligent in it. 
parents give kids rewards at when they're able to, when they see that they're constantly doing what they ask them to do without being a headache. You don't want to be a headache on your parents, right? You want to obey your parents and you want to obey the teachers and, and the staff, right? And M, the M is mouth, mouth. And so what you do, you speak your future into existence. As I was saying a little bit earlier, you speak it. Start speaking out your mouth. If you want to be in sports, speak that out your mouth. If you want to be the president, speak that out your mouth. And don't let anyone damper your, damper your dream that you have. Dream big. You have one life. Dream big. Nobody can tell you what you can or cannot do because who's to say what God is going to use you to do? You're the future. You're the next generation. And so dream big. Write it down. Right? Get your little chart going just like how Miss Laverne got her chart, right? Write it down so I can see it. I can visualize it. And guess what? Now you act upon it, right? Okay, and you just go from there. So I just wanted to encourage you all that on this back to school. Yes, it's fun. We're going back to school and all of that. But keep in mind, there's some choices and decisions and some learning that needs to take place while we're going back to school. All right? So we're going to go forth in prayer. And the prayer today is for children that are going back to school, whether you're in preschool, daycare, elementary, middle school, high school, college, whoever, everyone that's going back to school. All right. Because you're our future. All right. And the answer is that you would get wisdom and understanding, wisdom and understanding. Let us pray. Except the Lord build a house, they labor in vain that build it. Except the Lord keep the city, the watchmen wake it but in vain. It's vain for you to sit up late, rise up early, and eat the bread of sorrows, for so he giveth his beloved sleep. Lo, children are the heritage of the Lord, and the fruit of the womb is his reward. As arrows are in the hand of a mighty man, so are children of the youth. Happy is the man that have his quiver full of them. Father God, we just give you praise right now. We give you thanks, Lord, for these children that you've entrusted us with, Lord God. We thank you, Lord, for our children, Lord God, that you've kept, that you've given us. Us, Lord God. We praise you, Lord God, for your many works, Lord God, for keeping and protecting our children. And we just bless your name today. Lord God, we give you your due, Lord God. We pray that you will forgive us of our sins of omission, Lord God, and things that we've done that we had no business doing, Lord God. Forgive us for every sin that we've committed from the day we were born until this very second, Lord God. And I pray right now in the name of Jesus, as I stand in the gap with these children, Lord, this day, Lord God, I pray, Father God, in the name of Jesus, that you would give them wisdom and understanding how to apply the knowledge and wisdom that you give them, Lord God. Right now, in the name of Jesus, I I pray that they would have understanding when they go into get their instruction, Lord God. I pray that they would be obedient, Lord God, unto teachers, Lord God, and they would do their work, that we, they would be diligent in their work, Lord God. I just pray that you would protect them from the hand of the enemy, Lord God. I pray, Father God, that they would make good choices, wise choices, and wise decisions, Lord God, that they would do good, Lord God, so that they can prosper, Lord God. Right now, in the name of Jesus, Lord God, Father God, I just pray in the name of Jesus, Lord God, that their eyes would be open, Lord God, that they would not get caught up in any traps and any tricks, Lord God, of the enemy. Lord God, but that they will stay focused, Lord God, and they will hearken unto wise counsel. Father God, in the name of Jesus, Lord, I pray that you will protect our children, Lord God. The children are our future, Lord God. So I just pray right now that your will be done in their lives. I pray that you will give them vision, Lord God. Give them the vision that you have for their lives while they're young. Give them the plans and the instructions that you have for their lives while they're young so that they can reach after those dreams, Lord God. And they can go after the dreams, Lord God, that you already put in them, Lord God, before they were formed in their mother's womb, Lord God. You knew them. So I pray right now in the name of Jesus, Lord God, that you will protect our children, Lord God, as arrows are in the hand of a mighty man. Help us as teachers and help us as leaders, Lord God, and help us for those that are being that village to these children, Lord God, that we will steer them in the right direction, Lord God, that they will go in the right direction and help them to hearken unto our voice, Lord God. Father God, in the name of Jesus, Lord, we pray right now in the name of Jesus that they will be obedient, Lord God, in all things, that you will give them discernment, Lord God, that they will not go to the wrong side, Lord God, when they when they never not go left when they need to be going right, Lord. I just pray right now in the name of Jesus, when you put that inkling in them, Lord God, that if they have to sneak to do it, don't do it, Lord. I pray right now in the name of Jesus, Lord God, that they would, Father God, do what is right in your sight, Lord God, and they would do what is right, Lord God, even when the teachers are not looking. They would do what is right even when parents are not looking, Lord. They would do what is right, Father God, even when the staff is not looking because they have a future, Lord God, and they have a hope, Father God. So I just pray right now in the name of Jesus, you will protect our children, Lord, and they will, Father God, walk in the purpose and plan that you've designed for their life. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen, amen, amen. It's my sincere prayer. You all be encouraged and go forth and have a happy school year. Be blessed.